Hello, Miss Brenda. I want to share an experience that I, I witnessed a few weeks back. I know that it's been over a while. I am now debriefing and it is, it is taking a, a toll on my mental health a little. Not really like a toll, but like something I'm opening my eyes to realize like, oh, this did happen. So it's a very triggering situation to witness, especially if you're the only hands down person who has to deal with it. So basically, um, I was coming on my placement shift. And before coming on my placement shift, we had a youth who robbed a jewelry store. And not just robbed the store, but had a gun in his hands. And the gun was used to rob the store. My maid, the police, was able to take a photograph of his face. And of course, you know where he located his place of residence. And it's where I did my placement. I'm not going to say where, who, and how. That's confidential. I'm just talking in the story. And of course, they find the location of the place. They came to the place and they asked if they could see this particular individual. And of course, the staff could not do that without a warrant, right? Or, but we saw the staff them saw the photo. They were like, oh, that's not the person. And then they saw another photo. They're like, oh, yeah, that is the person with the gun. Because this youth is very, was very quiet, it was very respectful, very involved, doing programs, you know, attending all of his casework. Um, you know, doing everything that he needs to do, prolonging his visiting and residence here. So it's like, it was a shock to all of us because we didn't expect him to have a gun and robbing a store. My me, he did rob stores before, but he never robbed a store with a firearm. So it was kind of really triggering to witness. And we couldn't defend him, of course, because that's a situation that is, you know, it's out there. So the police came and they, of course, had to get a warrant. So they came back with the warrant. So while they came back, it was now, it's my placement shift start. Most of the time, I'm working by myself. That was back, that was working by myself. So I'm here like, what is going on? So much is happening. And then come to realization that... This youth actually did this. So the police came, but of course the police could not do anything. Once it's a gun arm, anything that is gun armed have to be done by a SWAT team. So the youth has no the youth didn't have any idea that the police was outside of the place. So I had to gather everyone else in safe places so they remain, you know, under this close door for the safety and I had to make sure everyone is comfortable no one to be aware of what's going on because it was it was late and then the youth like I said didn't have no idea what's going on on the outside they had to wait for the SWAT team to come only the SWAT team was allowed to open doors as long as the firearm involved the SWAT team came like two hours late between those two hours my mind was exploding like is he have a cold fire gun what would he what what will his reaction be when he see the SWAT team? How would he think? He would he think? You know, like I was going through so much in my head at that time. But I was just trying to still focus on getting through the night safely, peacefully, quietly, without anyone getting any problem or you know anything getting in the way. Anyways, after that, the SWAT team shows up. My coworkers was here with me, but they had to leave. Of course, it's not their shift. Now it's my shift. In my experience and the way how I have to handle it. And I'm actually proud of myself the way I handled the situation because I don't think I would have handled it any way better than the way I handled it then. That's why I think came, they did their job. They only spent like five minutes to get him out of the room. They did what they did and he was very calm through the entire process. You know, they really tried to tell him like, you know, this is what you've done, whatever. Of course you know what you've done, but like we're looking for that, whatever. And then... Um, after that left, I mean, I'm witnessing everything. So, now he left with the police, of course. And then, 
the same morning but like later on on the placement shift the search team came because they of course need to look for the gun and then they were in the room and they found it and i had to of course do an overview um that give like you know they show me that they have it so i have i've witnessed that you know it's there and it's an evidence so and also the jewels i was stolen so for me after experiencing everything within the eight hours of the placement shift i was proud of myself the way i handled the situation like no one get hurt everything went smoothly um police didn't have to get like hostile or anything but it's just everything that happened like i witnessed that i never witnessed that any I never witnessed witness that in the past on any job before. So witnessing that, especially me handled by myself, it was really triggering at that time. But it was something that I didn't want to talk about it right at the moment. I just wanted to move on for a while until I'm okay and then I'll talk about it. But everyone keep asking me, oh my God, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you handle the moment. I'm proud of you. Uh, yeah, I'm proud of me too, but I'm so not sure where mentally I'm at. Physically, I'm okay, but mentally, I don't know. Like, I'm just trying to get through it, right? Now, a few weeks prior, now, I'm just trying to, this is why I was figuring out what I'm going to talk about. about I, I want to make myself on practice for reflection a little, a little different. Something I've experienced hands-on with my own eyes. On weekdays. I'm still going through on to now. It's not a full month. It's, this situation happens in a couple of weeks. And then, um, I was doing some deep reflecting within myself. I like Chantel. I'm proud of you, but I still want to know, are you okay? I said, no, I'm not okay because I witnessed that. And I'm saying, I'm sitting there, I'm telling myself, I'm always on my duty. I'm always on site. What if, without a what if, this you just didn't have a good night and just wake up and shoot all of us out? What would have been my reaction? I don't think I'll be able to say I have a reaction. I might need a react in a hospital room or probably dead oh i'm saying that because my intention was like he could have done anything at any time while we were prior before the robbery all of that was playing in my head i don't want to say i'm negative but i was really like triggered about everything I me mean, no i am felt for the past few weeks i've been feeling a little unsafe like i mean i don't i know i don't trust anyone but it's like I don't know if anyone have anything. So after I learned the way how I also respond to you. So I also learned the way how to talk to them. If anything happen in a way of that they don't want to follow the rules, I will talk to them more and try and use logic and the way I, you know, carry out a problem or a conflict. Try to resolve them in the best way I can to avoid any altercations between myself and the youth. Because sometimes it could trigger to something else and we don't want none of that. So I try to stay calm in every situation and work my best knowledge to avoid unsafety for myself. Because after that whole situation it makes me uncomfortable, making me have to open up my eyes to do things differently. So I just want to share this moment to say that. Sometimes you never know when something's going to happen. You always have to really be careful and just look around. Your safety matters. And as some people say, always make sure your environment is safe and if you realize your environment is not safe always keep an eye out for anything that can happen at any time so yeah this is something i definitely want to share with someone so i'm still learning i'm still adapting to the whole new situation and i am definitely taking good i'm taking care of my mental health but yeah that's what i want to share with you and thank you my thing remain confidential i just want to share the experience I happen during my placement time. Thank you.